All right, so we're back again working on the shop, working on a normal car today. This is a very popular truck that we see on the roads here in Portland, Oregon. This is a 2006 Chevrolet Colorado four-wheel drive quad cab. This one is equipped with the automatic transmission and a 3.5 liter five-cylinder with variable valve timing. Engine actually got an award back in 2006 when this truck came out. It's pretty cool. So a uh, customer was complaining of a rattle underneath the truck, right about, right about here. And sure enough, the Cali converter uh, was rattling like crazy and the check engine light was on with a code P420. And let me show you, I got the old Cali converter off here. And if you look inside, get my light in there. Can you see this? That's what was rattling around. That is the core of the Cali converter. In other words, when the Cali converter is new, it's glued or somehow bonded to the inside of this housing. And this one has come loose and it's starting to break apart. And he said that he'd lost a bunch of power. One day he didn't think he was gonna be able to make it up a hill. What happens is that core gets loose and rattles and it turns sideways. So it effectively becomes a banana in your exhaust pipe. You've probably heard that term before. Now this is the pipe that came out of the truck. It was together like that. I had to cut it to get it out. It's very difficult. I thought it would be easy, but we've got a lot of stuff coming into play. We've got the exhaust manifold here. We have a drive line that's normally here. It's now laying on the floor right there. We have a torsion bar. We have the frame. We have the transfer case, and we have the transmission all in this space. So I loosened up the muffler, which is now hanging. You see the tailpipe. Put it, pulled it back. Thought I could sneak that old Kelly converter out that way could not do it. So then I removed the drive line, still couldn't do it, ended up cutting the Cali converter off right at that point there, and then I could sneak them out. The new one is a little thinner and smaller, and it will go in through here. You just gotta push, so there's a tip for you. You don't have to cut your brand new Cali converter to get it in there. So there's an oxygen sensor you gotta hook up. It goes right in this little hole, right. Where is it? It's right. There's a hole, at, oh yeah, it's right there, where my finger is. So that oxygen sensor needs to go in the hole, that's your second downstream oxygen sensor. And we'll get this guy fixed up, hopefully he'll regain his power, and the rattle will go away, and the check engine light will be off. Those are all win-wins. So it's a little more work than I thought. Um, Cali converter was uh, 300 bucks, 400 bucks, something like that. Um, so not super cheap, but it needs to be done. It's good for the environment. It's good for power and it's good for customer satisfaction and reliability. We're gonna pop the drive line back in, put the muffler back in and we'll take it for a drive and it should be done. But just wanted to let you know, these are good little trucks. They work really hard. Um, this guy uses it on his farm all the time and uh, it does the work, let me tell you. It's only a 3.5, it's a light duty truck, uh, but it, it gets with the program. All right, thanks for watching. Now this one's also got the Z71 4x4 package, and uh, we'll see you next time. Next video.